Hello and welcome to the All the Nerds channel. This is our review of uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, Levi Good and I both you. saw it. Not live. Not live. We're gonna do a little bit of non spoiler for a little while, and then we'll cut cut into or jump into um, I got spoiler you spoiler three talk. It's a non spoiler review. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's and, uh, no, Bone Saw is not in it. Sadly, Bone Saw is not in the movie, guys. He's not in it. So sorry about that, guys. But um. Yeah, so we're going to get into our non-spoiler thoughts. Those are just our overall thoughts on the movie. Um, Levi, what did you think about I'm, the movie I'm overall? just going to preface everything mm -hmm. I say with, okay. I would give, I'm just going to, right off the rip, I'm, I give this movie an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Because I feel as if for the rest of the yeah. review, it's just going to feel like I'm crapping on this movie. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I really enjoyed the first two thirds, and I really felt that the, the I, I got lost a little bit in the third act. I got lost. Um, I don't want. I, it's there the trailers. Were, the trailers they surprisingly were, they were do not give things. The trailer surprisingly does not give much away about mm. what happens. And yeah. No, not only did I not anticipate it, but I don't think I liked it. However, mm. I the end. I okay. enjoyed the end. The end credit scenes left me with a very good taste in my mouth, and I still yeah. really, really enjoyed the first, the majority of this movie. The music, the choreography, the acting. Yeah. I thought it was. Yeah killing they it. nailed the action and they shot it well and they edited it well which Very is well. like big plus like they didn't it wasn't that, like boom 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 boom, boom. bus scene Quick cuts. in the trailer is like yeah top five mcu action sequences it was really good You've seen it was really the good. trailer uh, top longer. five top five ten <laughs> top ten i mean in, in terms of the solo movies I, yeah the choreography is so good no, it was pretty sweet. They they nailed yeah they nailed the action. This definitely that that this movie has it going for it is 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 the action. Um yeah I I I think eight's a mm, I think eight's a little generous, but I mm. I uh I'll probably lean more towards a seven point five range. But I, no, I, I feel like seven point five is what Black Widow is, where it's just, and I feel like this gave me uh, more. Not not Widow. not in my opinion. Black Widow's like a six mm. black widow is mm. not aged <laughs> not my god aged no well. oh my god i said that i said that coming out of the theater i was like compared to black widow Ooh. Yeah. yeah nope no I, um, I, yeah go ahead go yeah ahead. so this movie yeah i um i i actually did really enjoy it and i had a really good theater i thought we had a really good theater so it, it was funny we all reacted it was, it was a good theater experience and 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 this felt black widow Felt a little okay. I don't know if "soulless" is the right word, but like, uh, it felt. I said not felt soulless in, in, in the it, theater. Yeah. In the theater, it felt a little like that. And then, but this this was a really good. It was a really good time. Everyone, I'm glad rather that everyone is loving this movie because people are yeah. just, like eating this stuff up, and I'm so yeah. happy for that. And I I want I really, to see it again I, because I had yeah. a bad theater I'm, experience, I, and I wanted to. Mm, I want to know what happened. I was told. Yeah, I I was told. Yeah, I don't think. I, I, yeah, for me though, because you were. Or going off on the rating thing, like yeah. I think Black Widow for me is like a seven, you know, l l high six, seven, m low seven. There, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's weird to translate yeah. it to letter grades because it's like I don't know, ratings, yeah. the way we rate things is very confusing. I, I could do a whole podcast I, and I could, I could change it in a matter of minutes, yeah. Four stars on Letterboxd, but that doesn't, <laughs> but I'd give it a B. Well, four Twitter. stars is like an eight out of ten. No, so. I know, but no, okay. no, but the but the the interpretation of letter never. It's, it's just, I'm just yeah, saying. It's a whole thing. It's a whole it's thing. A whole we don't thing. need to get into it. We don't but need to get into it. I think, letter, I think Black Widow is like B minus, C plus, whereas this movie is a solid B plus or an A minus. In terms of enjoyment, mm. just as like an enjoying. Like I it, had a really good time. I had like a really good time. You have a good actually. time watching. It, it was, was thoroughly, it was thoroughly entertaining. Yeah. And, and, and um, my, my problems with it do not have to do with the way it is executed. It's just, for me anyway, it's just not what I, what I expected or necessarily where I wanted yeah. to go. And that's just me. So it's a preference thing. Like, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm not. I'm this not this it. isn't this isn't a spoiler, but um, there were some pacing odd oddities in, in the oddities in this in this film, which I guess we'll get into a little bit more in the spoiler talk. But yeah, there, it, but in general, it changed it changed pace very quickly. In general, there's, there's a couple. I think it's safe to say we hmm. enjoyed it. Yes, I I really did, and I and I and I might. I might even go see it again. I I 
I really didn't. I really didn't like it. So, and we were talking about before before we started recording. But the worst, the worst thing. Yeah, worst part of about my movie, movie experience was the Venom trailer. <laughs> was the Venom <laughs> two trailer? What? What? No Venom. Mm. Pretty much are you can't really go too much. I don't want to go too much into. Yeah, it, I don't. I, I, I can't go too much beyond. It'll that, give so. stuff away, and it, <laughs> so this is. I think we should end the non spoiler part and just non spoiler over. Spoiler is done. On spoiler. okay. So my gripe is I just the CGI monster fights are just not for me. And watching yeah, big, they're not big, for me big CGI dragon fight the other big CGI dragon, it just doesn't do it for me all the time. And like that has nothing no. it looked great and that has nothing to do it with it. It looked execution. great. Actually the VFX the VFX I was a little worried in the trailer because there was a couple shots I was like, ooh. Mm. But the whole like but it looked good in the final product. Soul so Eater good. thing for me just came out of nowhere. I was like, it did come out of nowhere. I was like, I was like that's the plot of this movie now. I was yeah, like, it came out of nowhere. They did a little, they did a little uh, Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that was like, what? Yeah. Um, it was however, weird. And I should have said this in the non spoiler part, but if you made it, mm. you know, we don't have that many viewers. I'm sure you're watching anyway. The rings themselves are like the most badass thing I have ever. They're really cool. I going in, so cool. I I I really did not like the way they were doing. The Dude, talk about talk about Lord Badass. of the Rings. Like these guys, they they bring this like the time. Yeah, like, you, Thor's hammer, get out of here. Iron Man's suit. These like watching when we were up in like the nineties. Oh, rings, dude, yeah, was that like, was that was a good scene. Dude. I was like, this is amazing. That's and so badass. and so their fight, like the, the human fight during the big CGI end battle, A plus, mm -hmm. all into it. Shang Chi mm -hmm. against Wen Wu was so dope. Him using his mom style, the parallel. Like I loved all the human arcs of this. Yes. But in the third act, when Michelle Yeoh is just like, so here's this like uh, statue, and there's like these crazy soul eating demons, and uh, yeah, that's the plot now. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, which sure. Yeah. But but yeah. you know, you're but you're still with the character. I really thought they were gonna. I mean, like. I guess you could say that the Great Protector was like an interpretation of Fing Fang from Bro, Fing something, Fing wore but like pants. There's no, no. Yeah, that that uh, that dragon had pants and spoke English. This was just a dragon. Oh, one thing actually. Speaking of like comedy wise, I feel like the performances were good. I feel like Aquafina chewed up the scenes a little bit more than Simu did at certain t at certain points. Certain times. Did you get that? Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that, but I like sort of how grounded Simu was. I'm not sure if it was mm. intentional or just by the nature of the way he is. Yeah, but he was more I, like, I watched Iron Man 3 last like at times. For yeah. example. Mm -hmm. um, and Tony Stark, like when he's uh, interacting with Harley, Tony mm -hmm. Stark, Robert Downey Jr. is, he's, you know, he's a dick. Like that's part of his personality. But, you know, Simu was, re he's relatable in his way that he's a, such a badass, but it's understated because he's just also trying to, he was just trying to live his life as a guy right. in San right. Francisco. And I like yeah. that. I like that aspect. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I really did like 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 um. Simu May I say he was Tony Stark, lovable dick, but Simu Liu isn't like you know I'm a superhero and this is like my the bad part of my personality that I have to overcome. Like he's just a good dude. It seems like no, he was good. He I I really did I really did like him a lot, and 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 their chemistry, uh, Aquafina and, and Speaking of Iron Simu's Man, chemistry. Did you see really the good. the extremist guy? The, I did. Yeah. I, I was like, "Is that extremist?" And I was like, "Yep, that is." So, yeah, at the fight pit, there yeah. was a guy who just had that was a funny little. Uh, that's the so we're talking about the the Fight Club now. Fight Club. Um. Fight yeah. Club yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, dude. All right. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, let's I'm let's in. jump into that now. Um. So that was like the big thing that they were trying to sell this movie with was this was this was this big fight between Abomination and and Wong, and we basically saw the whole fight. I'd say in the trailer. I mean, the okay. It's also part of it is that it's a, it's revealed to be a fixed fight. So that's why right. it is what it is. And like, it's all part of this. What's well, something I want to get into? Like this mm -hmm. ring that his sister, uh, Zhu Zilang, is like, she, so Sh Shang-Chi is, I don't want to be like you, dad. You trained me to be mm -hmm. a killer. Mm -hmm. She's like, why can't I have your power? And by the end of the movie, one of the end credit scenes is she's going to be a villain. Like she, I, that's how that. Do you think she's playing a villain role? I got yeah, a little dude. bit of like, hmm. she's, I mean, she's in charge of the 10 rings. Like they're not exactly. Yeah, but I, I feel like she doesn't have malicious intent anymore. Well, now that she's taken over, I don't know. I mean, the whole movie, she's like, if I can't have, if he, I couldn't have my dad's empire, I'm going to build my own. And now she yeah. has her dad's empire. And she's got, where do you, where do you think, where her. do you think they'll, they'll pop up again? In? Cause I don't, I actually have no idea. Hey, who do you think Sharon Shang Carter, too, who do you but think like, Sharon Carter was on the phone with chief? Ten rings. That's my that's my two cents. Hmm. 
could be Ten Rings mm. connection. Then you connect that, like the underworld. I don't know of, like, where did to... heroes. You know how, the how long in there. after Eng- how long after Endgame do you think this is? Uh, That's a, I don't know. I don't know if they ever like, explained it. There was like, they mentioned it once. Stuff. They mentioned the slap, snap, uh, the blip once. Yeah, and there was like stuff in the in the mise en scene, if you would. Like there was like it was like called blip. Uh, blip. It, there was like dating services based. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Background yeah. on like certain yeah. posters. I'd say yeah. it's probably been six months, a year. I don't know. Because then same, I, I can't, I can't, what, I can't remember what I can't remember what Far From Home was. But the reason I'm bringing up is because Wong it looks different in this movie than he than he looks in No Way Home, and obviously Far From Home. We'll find out after Noah the other Homer. movies come out, and they 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 sort right. it all out. I'm sure they they know. I'm sure they yeah. Know. Um. What, what also else the, about the director said so as you mentioned, Wong is in this movie, and he's sort of yeah the end. But you don't see Doctor Strange, and the director mentioned that there is a in universe reason that they have that you will find out later why Doctor oh, Strange. Oh yes, yeah, we yes we, like, have, we heard that a little while ago. Yeah, what does that mean? But anyway, I love the Wong. Business. But then the we think about the No Way Home trailer, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's not Doctor Strange." All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. Like Wong's this in the is movie not, like, This is not a No Way Home video. Wong, but, Wong's in the uh, movie for like a minute, as you mentioned. It was kind of a fake out with the fight. Yeah. But then he comes in at the end, and he's like, mm-hmm. "After all this stuff happens, they kill this big old dragons." Which, remember, if you remember, if you follow us, I was complaining <laughs> or made a complaint like, "Oh my god, how is all this stuff on Earth?" But it's not. It's in a different dimension, and I was like, "Okay, that's a thing. They're in a different dimension." Which is right, the, the village, the village uh, was. Yeah, right? I mean, they explained yeah. that it's a whole different thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. after they, do I thought all it was that, quite cool. Yeah, yeah I thought well, that that like the existence of it's cool. But Wong shows yeah. up, and you see, and like that's where I like the most. And you have that funny Hotel California scene. But Wong yeah. takes him, and you you have Brie Larson as Captain Marvel and Bruce Banner again. Mark Ruffalo. Are, 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 do you want to just? Talk about end credit scenes now. Is that what we're just jumping to? We, we, that's fine. We've got, that's fine. I'm just right. going spoilers. Right. I'm that's taking. Fine. All right, all right, fine. I, no, I um, was jumping. I was using the Wong connection because Wong was in the trailers a bunch, and he's literally only in this end credit scene, essentially. Yeah. Like he's yeah, just. Yeah. Um. Movie. Yeah. Captain Marvel got the get the got a longer hair now. Same same suit from M Game. I'm pre- from M Game. So. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then Bruce Banner's got the sling on because of his his arm, obviously because the snap, in End Game. But um, he's not Hulk anymore. He's not Hulk anymore. Oh wait, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, he's not I Hulk. didn't even that didn't even hit me until right now. Yeah. What? Arms still all messed up. Yeah, he's dehulkified. Wait, that didn't even wait, wait. That didn't even hit me until right now. He's Professor not Hulk, Hulk anymore. Yeah, Professor Hulk is receded. The, oh, what was the whole ah okay. We'll probably find out in She Hulk. That's all he I'm gonna say. Probably will. Okay. That's weird, man. Okay, anyways, um, what do you think they were talking about? I still don't know. What, what, oh, so what was the beacon? To give context, yeah, the rings. So they get called in by Wong because Wong is a yeah. magical man, and you know, science magical and, man. And mm-hmm. Captain Marvel is cosmic, and they're like, "What the hell are mm-hmm. these rings?" Because the whole movie just happened. So now they don't are, know because nobody so knows. Now, so now people are like, "Well, what are these rings?" Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. They've been around for a while, uh, but it turns out they're like sending off a beacon. They're not. They're, they're, they say they, I think they say they're not Chitari, which means they're not alien. Yep. They're not yep. a, a vibranium or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're not as guardian. So, like, what are these things? So they're sending out a beacon, and I've heard. I haven't watched a lot of videos yet breaking this down, but I've heard people yeah. been like, "It's Galactus," and I'm like, "Is it?" I'm no. Like, no. I like, <sighs> I, yeah, I, I I thought that in the theater, but like, mm, I think it has something to do with the multiverse, man. I don't, I, I don't think it's. I, I I think they're not gonna. They're not touching Galactus yet. Yeah, multiverse. See, having just watched Iron Man three yesterday, when they did that zoom in thing, like Killian does with the brain, I thought yeah. it was like, I was like, is that the missing That's part funny. of the brain? That I know he exactly talks what about? you're talking about. Yeah, and he goes, he goes, oh Look. my god, yeah, and I was like, is that oh my this? God. That's the like, connection. I was like, that's that the connection? And then I was like, oh no, it's like a beacon or something. No. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um. I, oh. I. I. Yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know what that's another like, fun. Gonna... Until. Iron Man three. There's a lot of Iron mm-hmm. Man three connections because yeah, Trevor Slattery's in the movie. Ben Kingsley, which is the Straight worst in it, yeah. in the world. He's like, yeah, he's just in the yeah, movie. But no, the only thing, the only thing they leaked that was that leaked frame. And also, he was at the premiere. I mean, he was but... at the premiere. Like that's yeah. But, but I love the scene where mm-hmm. Wenwu is talking about Mandarin, and he's like, they were afraid of a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I personally don't like that just because I'm not that wasn't like I wasn't I'm not upset about the Iron Man the whole Iron Man three situation but like I didn't like that none of them knew who it was yeah that's what I didn't like because I was like did yeah. everyone just forget the events of the movie then again I guess he would have been like 15 
Maybe he just didn't care. Right. Because I was, I was thinking about that movie. Because in that movie, mm-hmm. they're making references to the 90s. And they're like, 10 years ago. And I was like, wow, this movie is starting to get old. <laughs> you know? Like, the movie mm-hmm. Iron Man 3 itself. Like, it came out almost a decade ago. Which is crazy. Oh, I know. And I'm like... And that's why I was like... That's why I was like... It's a little... I was a little underwhelmed with the whole Mandarin thing, but again, like I know it wasn't like a the main focus. Like I I understand that, and but like I feel like the I mean again. But you did get some ten, of that Mandarin. Ten, ten, ten years. Like how, how long the, has it been? That's how the film opens, is with how? when we were in like Middle Ages, kicking ass. It's awesome. Oh, I, what were you saying though? Oh, and there's been more because oh, because of the blip and there's a time jump, so it's been like. Oh, like, that too. Like Fifteen or it's been like. 15. Well, I was just I was just saying in the in the course of like I wish the, I wish the Mandarin thing got dealt with like. Better, earlier. No, in but, all hail in rather in the MCU timeline right now, isn't it like twenty twenty six or something like that? Uh, because five years, yeah, yeah. So mm. it's been a while for the characters. So never mind. I take my statement back. They they did the right thing because these characters would have been like children and they probably wouldn't have any idea, right? What the hell is going on? Oh, you think they got snapped? You- no. Or no, I, no, I no, I just mean during Iron Man three, these human beings existed and like the Mandarin was a terrorist threat for like the United States, but they may not have cared because they were kids. Right. No, I was saying like, oh, I wonder who in the who in the cast got snapped. Oh, that's I mean that's a good question. I I bet their friends did because they brought it up. They were like, half the universe can disappear and then come back. Mm-hmm. Sh- Shang Chi wasn't. Probably not. No. Shang no Shang Chi was. Well, we're, we're, we're running on time here. So, anyways, yeah, couple, I'm sorry. A couple okay. more thoughts. Uh, Death Dealer was a total clickbait. Character. Oh, that bothered that, the shit out of me. Did, did oh, nothing. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna bleep that out. But that bothered me. Yeah, Death Dealer did absolutely nothing, and then got his soul sucked out. And I was like, good. You had one cool action scene, and then you died. No, you have a single I, line I, of dialogue. I, I don't know. I I rather like wish that whole bus scene had Death Dealer instead of Razor Fist. Like. I like wanted more from Death Dealer. Death Dealer was so dope, and we got like a like a minute of him doing figure, something yeah. cool, and an action figure, and then we get a action Marvel Legend of Razor Fist. Razor Although Fist much I don't have, I don't Marvel. have any I don't have any Shang Chi Marvel Legends as of yet. I have or- a Wenwu and Sh- a Wenwu Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. I, 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 I have not bought them because I was like I think I want to enjoy this movie. I, so I no, it. I should have done that. I have not ordered them, but I'm gonna order them right after we end record. Yeah, end they're the pretty recording. cheap right now because they've been out yeah. since like. Yeah, last year. A while. It wasn't supposed to be out right now. <laughs> mm. Something something happened. There was a blip of our own. Maybe yeah. I, k- kind of, though. Kind of. Mm. But yeah, in general, okay. I really enjoyed this movie. The third yes. act was a lot to take in. They they went they really went full on. Fantasy. They went hard on the cool, third like, act. They're wearing dragon scales, fighting with magical rings and riding dragons. I'm like, that's not what I expected to see in this movie. But, hey, it's cool. And I'm glad everyone loves it. You know, more power to you. Sequel? Yes. I mean, it says at mm. the end, the Ten Rings will return. Referring to both the organization and the rings. So do you, I imagine... that, do you think that's where, the, where they'll pop up again? Or something no, sooner? We'll, we'll probably see them before. Then. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but la- last little All bit. Right. In terms yeah. of, to end it off, in terms of MCU origin movies, how do you think it stacks up? It's one of the best ones. Mmm! Hold on. Think about it. Yeah, hold on. Give it a thought. That, that was a that was. A... You you go first. I think Guardians is like the gold standard of or. or I think Iron Man One is the gold standard. Is the MCU. That's I think Iron, Iron Man One is different opinions here. I for me it's Guardians. Ten Rings isn't that? Yeah, they're, they're in Iron Man. You're right. Iron Man and Thor. Like I, Thor I, is the bottom. Thor is the bottom. Of Thor is the. Bottom, and Incredible right. Hulk are like the bottom. Yeah, and then I, I, uh, I, I said middle, middle tier, Mar- solid middle tier Marvel movie in general. I, in, in the case yeah, of origin movies, I don't middle, know. I'd say for me, in both cases, it's middle to upper tier. Like it's not quite mm-hmm. top tier, but it's definitely yeah. above. Most yeah, of them. that's my opinion as well. Yeah, yep, yeah. I agree. I agree. It was solid middle. Yeah, like I would, I would compare it to probably the first Avenger. In terms of enjoyment and like, that's for me. That's I fair. Because I really like that movie. That's Some fair. people don't like the movie. I, I think it's, too. I really enjoy it in terms of. I do too. Movie. So I I put this in the first event. Very different. That's mind fair. You. Very, very different. different. But in terms that's of fair. what they offer, yeah. I think they're I like very that. similar in that in that nature. I think you'll yeah. we'll be able to look back on it and it'll still be good. Like I still mm-hmm. watch that first adventure now and I go, I love this it. This is a solid ass movie. 
I, um, yeah, no, that's very fair. I, I, I would agree with that as well. And so that's where I think uh, Shang-Chi falls for me. Yeah. Yep. Well, I second that. thank you guys so much for watching. Did I scare you there? Boo! A little bit. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gotcha. a little tired. A blood, like, debt, blood debt must be paid in blood. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a, good, that was a cool I have, to, I have to see this movie again because there's so much to talk about. I know. We don't I have a watch it again. We'll talk about it on our stream. One of our we'll, streams. We'll stream, we can, yeah. You can watch it back. But thank you guys for watching our quick, immediate reactions. We saw it just a couple hours ago of Shang-Chi. And I hope you guys have a good day. Remember to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Peace. Bye. Bye.